Hello, my name is Mireya. I'm a college advisor. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how to navigate your Cal State LA student portal. This is really important for uh, people who have applied and are waiting to hear back, as well as for students who are already admitted and um, just want some help and how to navigate that portal. So uh, I'm going to go over some of the basics, including how to log in. That'll be pretty brief because um, every should, everybody should have received an email with instructions on how to log in. Um, but I'll show you how to access that in case you don't remember seeing that. Um, so I'm going to be showing you my um, application information. So it's going to be different for you, but a lot of it will be the same as well. That was a pretty general thing to say, but I think you follow me. So um, what I usually do is in the email that I provided on my application, um, that's where they send me all communications and emails. So here I searched up Cal State LA in my email and look, they shows me everything that they sent me. Um, you'll probably receive your student pin and your student um, or your campus identification number in one of these emails uh, with the subject line important. Um, so I opened up the one that has my PIN information. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the one with my campus identification number because then you'll have my login information. But um, in any email from Cal State LA, aside from this one with your PIN, so like every other email except this one that I'm showing, um, will have your campus identification number by your name at the bottom of the email. Um, so for this one, it'll just have uh, your PIN, and it says it here, the password will be capital G-E-T, and your PIN, your username will be that nine-digit um, C-I-N, your campus identification number. So from this page, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and click on that Golden Eagle Territory link, and it'll take you to this page. Um, from here, this is what it looks like. You're going to want to click Login to Get and it'll take you to the login page for the portal. What's really important to note is that there are certain browsers that you should use, uh, which includes Google Chrome, Safari, um, and I believe Mozilla Firefox. So if you're having trouble logging in, like it just keeps not letting you log in despite putting in the correct information, you should try using another browser. And if that's not working for you, then just go ahead and call the IT department and they'll be able to help you out with whatever the issue is. But that's usually what the issue is when you're logging in. Though it could be anything else. So just keep in mind that, you know, if you do get, if there is a roadblock in logging in, there will be a solution. Um, just try a different browser first. That's usually the problem. Uh, so when you, once you logged in, or you're logged in, this is what it's gonna look like. It's pretty plain. Um, but uh, let me just, show you what I normally do when I log in to check, you know, my updates, right? Uh, so the first thing I click is self-service. And then from self-service, you have the second menu page. Um, there's a lot of stuff here that you don't really need right now, unless you're an, are already a student there. Um, but for us applicants or recently admitted students, all you're really going to need to look at is this top left one, student center, or the other option to down campus personal information, where you can see your to-do list. Um, since I already clicked on it, I'll show you this one first. So here you're gonna find all of the information that they have on file for you, um, your address, the phone number they have, any emergency contacts. You don't have to fill out all of this information right now. They already have a lot of it for you, like your name and email and et cetera. Um, so you don't really have to worry about that right now, but later on, it's, it would be good to, you know, fill in emergency contacts once, you, and, you know, once you're sure that this is where you're going to go, once you're admitted and you're sure this is where you want to go, then, you know, update that information. Uh, but for now, we're just going to take a look at the to-do list. Here's where you're going to find anything like, um, say they want a copy of your high school transcripts, um, AP test scores. Sometimes they'll ask for um, tax document, um, verification forms. This is where you will find all of those tasks. So I have no items in my to-do list, um, which is good, right? This, this is what you want. But it's also okay if you do have items in your to-do list. That's pretty normal right now. It's probably going to say stuff that has a deadline and 
that you don't have to complete until July 2020 or sometimes it'll say stuff that's not due until July 2021 but it'll stay in your to-do list so it's just also really important to take a look at the deadlines because um, it's going to vary depending on the item and you know it's not you don't need to freak out about every item on your to-do list because some of them won't be due until like three months from now um, so we're going to go back to the initial self-service page or you know what, I'll just press um let me just take us home so let's take it from the top again so we're going to press self-service right last time we went to the campus personal information to check our to-do list now we're going to check out the student center we close that so uh this can be a little it's not necessarily that user friendly, it might be a little stressful to look at. Something that I like to do is um, take it step by step. If it's visually overwhelming, I'll just minimize all of these little tabs right here. Um, and we'll begin from the top. So academics, right? I'm not a student yet, so there's nothing here for me. But when I am an enrolled student, this is where I would check, um, you know, We'll not, we'll not worry about that right now, but you will use this function if you are in a student and you're enrolling in classes and all of that. So the next tab we're gonna look at is finances. Uh, this one is great because this is where you are going to pay for, you know, your, uh, your orientation. Uh, this is where you're gonna pay for your intent to register. You have to make a deposit. I think it's due May 1st, um, as of right now, that has not been changed but it should be May 1st, 2020 that your um, deposit is due uh, if you intend to attend Cal State LA. Um, this is also where you can view your financial aid. So I just clicked on that option. Uh, so if this was gonna be for 2021, the upcoming year, uh, I'm gonna click on it, but nothing comes up for me. The reason why nothing comes up for me is because I haven't been accepted or denied if I were accepted and I submitted my financial aid application on time by that March 2nd deadline um, or even earlier than that, then likely I would see something here. I would see what they're willing to offer me, what this school is going to offer me financially. It'll show you, um, you know, any grants, scholarships, et cetera, that they're offering you so that you understand how much you are expected to pay. Uh, so I'm going to take it back. To student center. Close that. Okay, so right, we're looking at finances. So that's pretty much everything you need to know here. This is where you're going to make your payments. Um, this is where you would accept or decline those financial aid awards. You can find out more information on what that means in another video that we're going to do about financial aid. Um, but for now, it's just good to know that that's where it's at. Um, personal information. So. That was what I showed you in the other um, tab previous to the student center page. Um, it's the same information, it's your personal information. It's good to take a look at it at least once um, so that you know that they have the correct phone number and address on file for you in case they're trying to communicate with you. Um, you know that you're receiving all of it. Uh, so right here at the bottom below that, you're gonna find admissions and that's your admission status. So. It can vary. Mine says incomplete, but I'm not worried about it because at first I was worried, so I called the admissions department and they told me it's fine. That's just um, that's just what it says for you. Um, they assured me that I had submitted everything. Everything was fine. Um, this is just how these portals are. Sometimes they're a little outdated or a little slow, so sometimes it's not necessarily the most accurate information that you see on here. Uh, but if you call and verify that, hey, like it's saying I'm missing a transcript, but I sent it already, they can tell you over the phone like, oh yeah, we received it, we just haven't updated it in the system. So sometimes that kind of stuff will happen. It's always best to just call the school <laughs> and verify. Um, so we're gonna look at the right section of this now, of this, page. Uh, here you're going to find your communication center. Basically everything in your communication center is what they've sent you in your email. Um, mine is pretty empty, but here where it says completed communications, um, this is all stuff that I've received in email. So this reminder about documents required, they were requiring some transcripts from me, um, but 
and it tells me when they sent that message out to me, which is January 23rd, right? Um, but I also received that in my email. So this is just a second way of them assuring that you get their messages. Um, so it's always best to just check your email a lot, but it's also good to check in here because sometimes they won't send everything to your email. So I'm gonna go back to the previous page. Here we can see the holds and to-do list. So this is important because this is the stuff that you're gonna wanna be checking whenever you log in. Um, because let me show you. a hold means that you have a task overdue or a payment needs to be made. It restricts you from moving forward to things like registering for classes or orientation, or even from getting your application reviewed. Sometimes um, unaddressed holds can cause you to get denied or even have your um, admission rescinded. So they could take back your admission if you don't keep up or if you have a hold or, you know, basically tasks that you did not complete by their deadline. Um, so that, and that goes back to the to-do list, which you could also see right under it. Um, this is just another place to look at your tasks. Uh, it's just really important that you check these two sections because um, it, you know, you wanna keep up with things and you are responsible for keeping up with these deadlines. And um, that's part of being a college student is, you know, taking that responsibility for yourself. And the way that you do that is just by, you know, maybe once a week coming into this portal, uh, checking your to-do list, making sure you don't have any holds. Um, if you're still waiting on, you know, getting admitted, then you'll check that admission status because sometimes they'll update the portal before they send the email out, you know? So it's good to be on, on top of things. Um, what else? I mean, I think that's, it's, oh. It's also good to know that sometimes you'll have holds on your account, but you don't need to freak out. It'll be okay. All you got to do when you're worried in that kind of situation is contact the school. You're going to want to call them. Be like, hey, I have this hold on this account, on my account, but, you know, like, I already sent my transcripts. I already completed this task. And that's when they'll tell you, oh, we received it. We're just backed up, so we haven't updated the portal. So rule of thumb. If you are stuck, if you need help, call the school, call Cal State LA. And if you um, are a student at my school, just hit me up, send me an email, um, ask me what's going on, ask your college advisor or college counselor, whoever it is, um, what's going on. It's really important to just ask for help. That's, you know, moral of this video is ask for help and check your emails and your portals. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to leave it at that. Pretty much covers everything. Uh, reach out if you need help, okay?